you're ever doing a CTF lab or penetration test against an Active Directory environment or a domain controller, one of the first things you're going to want to do on your attack box is sync your clock to that domain controller. This is because of the Kerberos authentication service, which will not let us carry out any attacks involving Kerberos if our clock skew is too great. This means attacks like curb roasting and Active Directory certificate service attacks will fail until we match our clock with the domain controllers. If we take a look at this nmap scan output against the domain controller 10.10.10.100, we will see that port 88 is open with the curb roast service running on it. And if we scroll down, we see that we have a clock skew of 2 days, 21 hours, 42 minutes, and 24 seconds. If we were to try to run a curb roast attack using get user SPNs against this domain controller, we see that we get a curb roast session error saying that our clock skew is too great. And fixing this clock skew is quite simple. All we have to do is either be in an elevated shell or run these commands as sudo. And we're going to run two commands. This first one, time date ctl set ntp off, is going to set the network time protocol off, which is basically the protocol for automatically updating our time to sync to some other clock on the network or the internet. And the second command, rdate-n, and then the IP address of the domain controller is going to set our time to match the domain controller. So my clock is going to go from 7.57 p.m. to 5.41 p.m. And we'll see that our clock matches the domain controller, setting our date to August 26th at 5.41 p.m. Eastern. And now if we were to run our Kerberos attack again, we see that we get our administrator Kerberos ticket, which we could then try to crack offline with Hashcat. 